Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Keep it a buck. Uh, my name is Aries, if, for those who don't know me. And uh, I just wanted to get on here today and share with you guys my experience seeing Harry Mack live in concert. Um, my brother-in-law brought uh, bought us tickets to the Salt Lake City show that he had on June 7th. So last week, Wednesday, uh, me and my wife drove from Vegas to Utah for um, a graduation that was happening. But my brother-in-law actually just bought us tickets, you know, and um, I just wanted to share the, your my experience that night. Um, first off, I want to say top three favorite concerts I've, I've, I've ever been to. Um, you know, I didn't know how it was going to go or how Harry Mack – kind of structured his his concerts or his shows. I didn't know what it was going to be like, but what I experienced being there was nothing like how I thought it would be. Um, it blew my expectations off the hinges. It blew it off the roof. Um, Harry Mack, if, if you guys are Harry Mack fans or um, I, and you guys haven't seen him in a show yet or haven't seen him live, I suggest you save up some money and you make your way to one of his live shows. Um, had the time of my life with my brother-in-law and my wife um, at his shows. And, and you know what? Like, it, it's really a, a great show, yeah, for his fans. But, like, I feel like if you don't know who Harry Mack is and you're not, like, a fan of rap, it's also a great show for people being introduced to him and kind of – being introduced to hip hop and rap, I I think. Um, so first off, I just want to say, and I, I'm going to share a clip in this video as well uh, that I, you know, recorded at the show. Um, but Harry Mack starts off the intro of the show, just like popping up out of nowhere in the back of the venue, making his way through the crowd, freestyling for like 10 minutes, I think. So the first 10 minutes of the show was him freestyling freestyling throughout the crowd, you know, and he ends up, you know, freestyling about my wife's shirt and what she had in her bag. Um, so I'm going to share that clip uh, in this video as well. It's right here, actually. <laughs> So yes, that is uh, me and my wife and my brother-in-law. Uh, he's kind of in the back. It wasn't on camera, but uh, Harry Mag actually rapped about what my wife was wearing in her, on in, in her shirt and rapped about the and what was in her bag. So that was a dope experience in itself. I mean, just having him right there in front of me and where I could just like actually touch him um, was incredible, man. And to see his type of skill set you know, and, and the way his mind works and, and to see it live. Oh my gosh, bro. I appreciate it way more, you know, like, and, and I already appreciated it and I loved it, you know, from the gorilla bars and the Omegle bars, but seeing it live and seeing him just off the top, it was amazing. So that was his intro for the show was him just working, working his way through the crowd, freestyling about, you know, how he usually does with gorilla bars, right? Finds his way up to the stage and like the show begins now, and um, he he did a great job of like mixing in the um, like Omegle bars and Gorilla bars almost, and like putting it as in a, a really structured show. And um, but I, I I didn't say this before, but like when we were all were just kind of standing waiting for the show to start, uh, the DJ actually put up a barcode. Um, not a barcode, but like a scan, like a scan thing 
um, on on the on stage and you know, on, on the big screen, um, so all of us could like take a picture of this, um, and like it would scan it on our on our phones and like we would be able to like submit our own words and our own topics throughout through this thing to Harry Max so he could rap about it throughout the show and if he picked it or not or whatever, um, so that was unique and the way that they kind of incorporated. Um, just making it very fun for everybody to be involved in his show. It was very, um, I don't know. We, we got to cooperate a lot. You know, he, he wanted our help as fans being there. Um, and it was really, really just clever how we went about including, trying to include all these people who came to a show, trying to include them as best as he could and just make me, make us feel like, he cares about what we have to say or um, our input and, and his performance, you know what I'm saying? Like we have a hand in it, you know? And, and I thought it was just a dope way of incorporating him freestyling off the top of the dome, off these words and topics, but not actually us like shouting out words and stuff like that. So yes, that was before the show. Everyone scanned that big QR code or whatever and then we all got to submit our own words and topics and they all got submitted and then it would just pop up on screen um when harry mack would decide to like you know continue the show right but there were times where he would like bring up three people um three special people that uh, his people picked out in the crowd they would he would bring up bring them up on stage and right there and then he would like ask them to give them a word or give them a situation or um, give them like a, I don't know, just, just have fun with it. Right. I'll, right on the spot. And then uh, he would take those, those words or the situations or whatever from those three people that he got from the crowd, rap about it, have a freestyle. But you know, what was crazy though is like Harry Mack did a whole show freestyling off the top of the dome. And what was really insane to me is like he had people, he had the whole crowd. Uh, you know how sometimes Harry Mack would like make songs of the three words that people would give him on Omega bars. Well, he kind of did that on the show as well. And he had the whole crowd chanting or screaming these words like it was like a hook of a song. Like it, it's just crazy how. Everyone was so in tuned in, in this show and hear what Harry Mack had going on. I think people almost forgot, like, holy crap, this guy is just going off the top of the dome because he did it so effortlessly. And it was just right there and then, you know. Like I said, top three concert shows I've been to. And, I, and I've seen Drake. I've seen Miguel. I've seen uh, Future. I mean, old Future, but... um. I mean, I've seen R&B groups. I've seen, I've seen some names, right? Like I, I've been to some shows. Um, Harry Mack, top three best shows, best concerts I've ever been to, and you know there. And there's one point in the show where he decided to share some written, some a song, uh, some written from, from him, and that's probably one of my favorite parts of the show of part of his show uh for me was his written. Uh I know that he can wow us with the freestyle factor and the off the top of the dome, but to actually hear his lyrics, what he wrote, and it was some like some really, really deep stuff, why what he wrote as well, like it's powerful, man. And it was just see it was just dope to see him uh you know give us depth into his life almost. So that that was one segment, you know, and again, I think the team that Harry Mack has and Harry Mack in itself, like just a great team and no one is doing what he is doing. No one is putting on these shows off the top of the dome. No one's taking this risk in, in the industry right now that Harry Mack is doing uh, on this Odyssey tour, doing shows completely off the dome going into these shows, not knowing what's going to happen, but somehow some way he makes us all bigger fans of his or, um, 
people being introduced to him there right there and then are just into what Harry Mack has got going on because his show was so smooth. Like, his show just ran so smoothly while he was going off top of the dome. And um, one, of the, one of the best shows I've, I've seen, man. And uh, I'm trying to leave you guys with another, another clip, just uh, something that I took away from the show, just a uh, two-minute clip that I got. But um, like I said this before in the beginning of the, of the video, like, if you have money and you have time to go see him live, go see Harry Mack live, please go do that. It, you will not waste your money. You can probably even go with a friend who doesn't even know who he is or is not even a fan of hip hop. And they will probably walk away loving Harry Mack and love what he has got going on. Probably. I'm not even joking. Like it, it's that great. So, you know, just saying, but again, I just wanted to share my experience about, you know, me attending a Harry Mack show for the first time with my brother. Yeah, it, it was fantastic, guys. And I, I suggest that anyone who is a fan or is a fan of hip hop, you guys have to go see Harry Mack um, live. So, yes, that, that that is all. Hope you guys enjoyed the clips, the live clips that I got from, the, from that night. Thank you, Harry Mack and the team for putting on a, a great show in Utah. And, um, yeah, Utah was lit, too, so. Thank you guys so much again, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next Harry Mack reaction, and uh, keep it a book. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's been that energy, it's all like city. Yeah. Rushing like conditioning, yeah. Hopping that thing and I 